seven one five two zero eight should have gone the other way four two okay that's nice to hear hello everyone my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome back to Nightmare of Milani I don't care anymore if I get the name correct or incorrect when it comes to Milani or Milani Lan isn't it because of like local area network land got a photo for me inside okay and now the TV shows a static screen that's not still it's definitely static hmm the painting bears human fingerprints oh dear hey anything else you want to show me game Hi. You going to keep giving me these little sp spooks? Blood flowed from the glove compartment. Anything else? This. No. That. No. So, the only thing I can think of a photo is that you need to show it to something or somebody. It says a few words about coordinates. Where is the 15th and 14th? Jesus Christ. Uh, we go from one illogical puzzle to another. Where is the 15th and 14th? Well, this... Episode started out very well, didn't it? Where's the 15th and 14th? What are you trying to imply, game? So, looking at the screen there, it says X is 17 and Y is 10. Oh, I love typing things down just... I'm just going to go about just examining every single tile because that photo shows a photo of this room. But what are you trying to imply to me, game? You know, it says coordinates, but where of? Like, this isn't exactly an XY grid system here, you know. <sighs> Unless you picture yourself in mind of this map and then you know where everything is according to numbers. But obviously this is not, so you're trying to convert a math problem into a puzzle. Which obviously for me doesn't work out well because, well, I'm not good with puzzles. Especially when they're not translated properly. Okay. We have ourselves a doozy. Nothing like a logical puzzle to start your day. Actually, it's not starting the day. It's mid-afternoon. But still. It's not a good way to start a Sunday afternoon with this game. I should have chosen another game. Like one you can actually complete. And have your head still intact. Scrape the floor with obsidian. A yellowy note was found from the sawdust on the floor. What does a piece of paper say? Obsidian wears out and cannot be used again. Yep, because that's what happens when that sort of thing does that. Photos is a how does this make any sense, honestly? Honestly, how does any of this make any sense? Just like my grammar at the moment. How does this make any goddamn sense? Mimi, do you What a board with a combination lock on it. I have never played a game with puzzles as frustrating before. 
I've played frustrating puzzle games in my years of doing videos on these sort of games, but nothing comes close to this game when it comes to puzzles. There's another game where an adventure based sort of thing is so annoying like this, which is a game I mentioned in a previous episode, but I won't bring it up again, and it's literally... It, the game was based in a hotel, and the hotel itself has, itself has 10 floors, and you need to search every single floor in every single room to be able to find what it is that you need to do. And this is the same thing when it comes to how wrecking it is for you to be able to understand what it's trying to tell you. And there we go. So, this might be my last video on this game because it is literally driving me up a wall. Like, what does this note mean? It's like, this game is becoming less and less sense as time goes on. <sighs> it's just one of those things. It's just one of those things that... It's just one of those things, really. <laughs> Uh, I've got nothing else to say other than this game really is difficult. I wish I was a walk through somewhere. Or somebody to give me an explanation as to why these things are how they are. Like, this and the note really do not make any sense at all. Mimi 2D U U E. Like, what English are you trying to give to me, game? If that is even English. You uh, just had to fall over, didn't you? Search it, yes, please. Take it, yes, please. Found a videotape. Can we use it on the TV? That would seem to be the best place to use a videotape. The TV hasn't been turned off yet. Turn off the TV. The TV cannot be turned on. So, okay. Put it in, put, put it in the TV player. Great, play video. Obviously in the past. Doesn't like the teddy bear. Insane children. Who were they? Who were they? So yeah, I'm glad I smashed because I needed something shocking in this game to happen. Let's search for recipes. If they've got anything that is nothing useful, and search this one. There is a small notebook under the cabinet. Let's read it, please. He bought. Okay, I'm so upset. That woman has also got on there. She's a nice face. Tear to pieces. Uh, you know, but Zhao Chen was in front of me at that time. I'm afraid I don't want to think about anything. I can only rely on blank, 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 blank. Why do I want to marry him at the beginning? I took three children from that blank. He endured the pain and the insult to me. 
I really wish his little mistresses would go to hell now. He has never considered any of my feelings. He pretended that nothing had happened after what he had what, what had happened. He thinks I'm stupid. So that was perspective of a wife, basically. I would think so too. So we've played the vid Okay. Well, thank goodness there's something new here. That's good, I think. I think that's very good. Well, it's a dark corridor with an invisible, f well, a, with a foe that you can go through. Two, which you can't go through. Number two, number two, number two. These are like um, those anatomical dolls that you find, or uh, statues that you find in in uh, uh, infirmaries. That's the one. Maybe I should just run. Oh, hi there. Get in my way, won't ya? <laughs> Who's laughing at me? I am more consumed by frustration over... <laughs> over the, um... The fact of being surprised by any particular jump scares of a game. It's going to take something incredibly big to be able to jump scare me at this point in time. Because my mind is not filled with the unknown. I expect BS at this point in time from the game and its puzzles. You keep doing this to me. I don't like it. You run towards me. Yes, all of that. Is there somebody at a window? It looked like there's a shadow at a window there. Is there something that's going to be new here? Maybe not. Just that. A dark corridor with nothing in it. Great. But what does the note symbolize as? Uh, unless the clues were within that room. Remember which ones were jumbled up and stuff like that. Wooden board or a combination lock. So we've got seven numbers. No. Nothing at all. Looks like there's words missing. Unless it was just poorly translated. Oh, I don't want to assume anything. But this game has been misassuming us from the start. It's like, what are we supposed to do with this bit of note? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely my last video on this game. Because I am fed up of this game's illogicalness. I really am. So, I'm giving this game a good go. I wanted to see it out to the end. And unless there's a patch of this game which includes improvements to the English translation. Along with more hints towards each puzzle because this game really only has one hint per puzzle then unfortunately this game is just going to come to a close and not be completed i swear to gosh i have rarely played a game as frustrating as this if there's a person on steam that managed to complete the game and even they said that this game is just stupidly illogical. Like they had to go through Chinese Let's Plays and other methods to be able to get to uh, a point in which we can say that they have completed the game along with seeing all the endings to it. But I'm not going to involve myself that much when it comes to playing a game. I'd rather keep my sanity intact and I hope you guys, well, I hope most of you can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to a game which is stupidly illogical like this. The story, I have no complaints about the story. It's the puzzles, it's the translation of the game that make it so frustrating and incompletable by most people. It's like... I wouldn't be so frustrated with a game if it was for free, but it's not free. It's you have to pay for this game. So it makes it an extra disappointment.
If you got any ideas on how to solve this puzzle, then then I don't know because it does not line up with one of the other puzzles, which requires you to look at the highlighted letters and then translate those letters into numbers based on which number they are within the alphabet. So, for example, one is A and 26 is Z, and it doesn't work out on this occasion because it adds up to 8, 8, 5, minus 1, 10, minus 3, 13, which obviously is not a seven-digit combination. You can't put a dash in. So what does this puzzle signify? But it doesn't matter now because this is going to be my last video on this game. The story of the game is... Well, it's dark and it's interesting because it obviously involves a conflict within a family that ended up this massacre kind of thing happening, especially the bathroom. The game needs a lot of work. I mean, if it was a free game, then I wouldn't be so angry because you wouldn't have to pay money. The only thing that sacrifices time in order to go through the game. Most players, including myself, would find this game frustrating. The only person in the world that could possibly find this game not frustrating is the developer of the game because they're the ones who made it. So, I never want to put a video out that says this short, but unfortunately it's just going to be one of those cases where this game is incompletable, it's illogical, the puzzles don't make any sense. What was the developer thinking when making the game and what was the translator thinking when we were translating the game? It could come down to the experience or the amount of experience that the translator has in English. And I understand if this is probably one of their first games or if not their first game of translating as like a, a project or something that involves translating a game from Chinese to English. But I've also heard that there are parts of this game which are not even translated at all. So... And also, so most of the achievements are broken too. There's that thing, because there was that really red figure that you saw on um, my last video. Um, there should be an achievement that would be unlocked from witnessing that, because there's literally an achievement which has his face on it greyed out. But that doesn't get unlocked, so... Yeah, it's disappointing really. It's very disappointing with to end it like this, but for now, as far as I can tell, this is going to be it for me on Nightmare of Mulaney. It would be very nice if there's somebody out there in the community who is A, very good with puzzles, and B, have the patience to play through this game, and C, put up a walkthrough of this game, then it would be possible to play the game at its current build on the 24th of March 2019 but unfortunately folks this is going to be it for me <sighs> thank you so much for watching sorry about the rants that I've made throughout this game but unfortunately they need to be said in order to get anywhere with the game I mean if there is even a rare chance that either the translator or developers watching this then I'm very very sorry but this game needs a big amount of work to be able to be considered playable and also the crashes as well need to be looked at because this game has crashed for me about three times but anyways folks i hope you enjoyed watching this video i'm just going to take one last dive and just see if the numbers i said earlier actually make themselves do because i actually had to um well, just look at this and thinking, well, what ones? Well, anyways, you can't even do that because there's eight numbers. Uh, yeah, that. Seven numbers, but there's too many numbers to consider. Nothing happened. Okay, folks. Thank you very much for watching and take care of yourselves.